YouTube, what's going on YouTube? What is going on? What is happening, man? Of course, it's your guy. One more time, Dedra Alex Jr. And I'm back with another fragrance video. Smell good family. Hopefully everyone is doing well, doing great, doing fantastic, positive energy, positive vibes. Y'all know how we rock out here in this channel, man. Positive vibes only, all right? So we are back with another viewer's choice or viewers with an S. A lot of you guys have been asking me my thoughts and opinions on the House of Dumont, all right? So I'm gonna give you my top five fragrances that I've experienced from the house, and I've experienced quite a bit, and I do have an honorable mention, but some of y'all are gonna be surprised at what that honorable mention um, is, but it's, it's still getting love, still getting praise, but it's my honorable mention, all right? So before we get started, I must shout out the good folks over at the Perfume Box, salute to them, um, they, um, reached out to me uh, a little while ago and say, hey man, we would love for you to experience the House of Dumont. Uh, do you mind if we sing some things out? I said, sure. Um, I'd love to check them out. At that time, I had, had, had heard and been hearing a lot about what they had to offer. And I must say, there are some really, really good and great offerings from the House of Dumont, all right? So y'all check them out. I have the link in the description. Um, and I don't have a code or anything, but my man's Ross does use TLTG5 uh, to get you 5% off of your order. All right, so Dumont, very affordable house um, on Perfume Box, but they do have some fluctuation in their prices due to the quality lines that they have, and I'll get into that starting now. All right, so what is my honorable mention? Well, it's this one. This one was the first one out. Maybe I just gave it away. This was the first one out. This one got the most love. It's really good. It's in line with one of the more popular DNAs in all of fragrance. Uh, but for me, it's right outside of the top five. Right outside of the top five, but still good. From the house of Dumont, we have Nitro Red. Nitro Red, yes. Now, I've worn this about two or three times, and every time that I've worn it, I received compliments. I've also had to give out to link to where people can get this. This is a watermelon red berry version of Invictus. That's what this is. Has a little bit of a little bit of a, a little bit more depth uh, than you would say, you know, the original Invictus. But this is powerful. It is sweet. It's fruity. Um, but it is a very mass appealing fan favorite DNA, and rightfully so. This stuff is good. Now you can get these um, nitros for around that $35 to $40 mark over on the perfume box. Um, and these are, they're good prices for really good performing fragrances with some really good quality here. But this is my honorable mention from the house of Dumont. I think it's really good. I'm not <laughs> talking crazy about the fragrance. I do recommend the fragrance, um, but for me and my taste and my liking, it is sitting outside of my top five. So nitro, Red, Nitro Poem Red is my honorable mention uh, for this video. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, up first, this was my first experience from the House of Dumont and I was blown away. So I gotta give my man's uh, Ross credit for, I saw him talking uh, about this fragrance, I saw the video and I was intri instantly intrigued and it's super, um, uh, exceeded what I even thought that experience was going to be. From the house of Dumont, we have Nitro Pour Homme Intense. Man, 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 I love everything about this fragrance. The bottle is so fire, all blacked out, decked out bottle. But most importantly is the juice. This is a dark and fruity spicy take on Creed Aventus. And knowingly Dumont, they do, you know, uh, they, they do a lot of inspired versions and mesh versions of really popular fragrances that are out there, especially the Aventus DNA, and that's what this is. There's also plum here, cinnamon here. Um, you still get that oak moss and vetiver, uh, woody uh, uh, composition here with this fragrance, but the opening of this really stuns me every time. Plum and cinnamon, Evictus, Evictus, Aventus, <laughs> Aventus is what you're getting here. This stuff is an amazing performer. It's that juicy, uh, that juicy, dark plum, sweet and spicy cinnamon texture here. 
It is sensational. Now I've worn this probably the second most out of all the Dumont's um, that we're gonna talk about today, but I will continue to wear it. I love the Adventures DNA. If you've been on, uh, been rocking with this channel for quite some time now, you know that, but this is a really good one. A different take on Aventus. Do you get Aventus? Yes. But that plum and that cinnamon and that almost kind of boozy sensation that you get with the uh, with poor old intense, it is really good. It is really good. Something to look into, especially if you're in love with the DNA. The take on it is great. From the house of Dumont, we have nitro poor ohm intense. Again, love everything about this bottle. Love everything about the fragrance. This is really really good. All right, up next, my favorite fragrance from Dumont from the house it's 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 a clear winner even over the intense which i really really enjoy because this is uh uh what i call like my addition uh, like an additional signature dna or signature scent profile for me what are we talking about from the house of dumont we have salario elysium salario elysium clash with my studio like pretty good here but this is an inspired take on possibly my favorite DNA like right now, currently what I'm enjoying smelling the most. And that is from the house of Ormond Jane. That is Montebacco Intensivo, all right? That's what this is going after. Verano, which I have Verano um, as well, but it's a bit more brighter take, probably a little bit more versatile, but I don't care. You could wear this here all year round too. Juniper berry, uh, uh, leather, uh, woods, um, just this beautiful kind of like this icy super um, Ambroxan type of vibe here as well. Great for everyday. I just love how it smells. It's versatile. The the the, the DNA starts from Montebacco, Montebacco uh, Intensivo, and then the Verano. Um, but this right here is about 90, 95% closed. I've worn this to the office. I've worn this on a day off when I'm just kind of running some errands and, and just moving around. It's just something that really fits me. It's kind of replaced the urge for like the Silver Mountain Water and the uh, Gentle Fluidity Silver, things from Creed and Mason Francis Kirchhoff. I'm talking about the DNA, the DNA of it. Um, but this one is so close, it's so good. I don't know if I'll ever get the Intensivo version um, due to how great this is. Excellent, excellent performer, masculine style fragrance, beautiful, beautiful texture and tones to this fragrance. Something great for, um, like I said, you know, the everyday man, the masculine individual, but it smells different. It got a different vibe to it and Dumont, they nailed this. Like I said, about 95% close in my opinion. I love All My Jane, love the Montebacco series, but this here is the, this is my favorite. Of, out of everything that I've ever smelled, this is my favorite. And hopefully you can see why from what I just said. From the house of Dumont, we have Salerio Elysium. So of course, Salerio Elysium is like a, the, another line from the house of Dumont. We've already talked about a nitro. We got one more nitro to discuss, um, but that is another line. I think they have like three or four different lines of different fragrances. And we're gonna move on to another line from the house. Up next, which this stuff is amazing. <laughs> from the house of Dumont yet again, we have Barouge Siage. Barouge Siage. Now the story behind the Barouge line is this is the this is the most expensive from the house. The oils are a little bit better uh, quality. Um, the even like you get these pressurized atomizers on these bottles. Boom! Like the yeah, the quality kind of steps up a bit. My God. Can I kind of, it really, really does. Now, what is this one going after? Why do I love it so much? This is a fresh and bright take on Killian's Angel Share. Yes, Killian Angel Share. But with this one, there is a, 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 a boozy, plummy, dark fruit, like addition to the cinnamon and praline and, and vanilla type of vibe. This is something that you can even wear in the summer because it's so bright and airy, especially in the opening. It does not come off cloying, like uh, unless you're like in like burning, burning, just flaming, super hot summer day. Sure, but I'm talking about the temperatures in the 80s. I've worn this in the 80s. I've worn it. I wore it to the office. Granted, I was inside, but I'm going inside and outside for the majority of my day, and it came off really, really well done. Now, typically. 
I'm wearing this in the spring. I'm wearing this in the fall. I'm wearing this. I will wear this on the summers, like date night or evening. This stuff is very good. Has some sex appeal to it with a fun aspect. Um, but the quality on here is incredible. It lasts all day long. I think. Well, all of them perform really, really good. But these are poor. Um, the pork barouge outperform the nitros for me. Just barely, but they do. And we're talking about all of these are in between like that eight to nine, eight to 10 hour time frame as far as performance. But this one right here, Angel Share Lane, brighter, fresher take, but you can get like a, this dark fruitiness to it. I think plum is one of the notes that they really like to use in these fragrances and I can really pick it up. It's the most natural plum. No, I'm cool with that. It's kind of like half and half, kind of, you know, nat natural synthetic type of vibe, like combined. But this one is really, really good. If you love Angel Share, you're going to most likely really appreciate this one because you can get a, you can do a little bit more. This one is a little bit more versatile um, than the original Angel Share and the many, 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 many other inspired takes on the DNA. But this is fire in my top five from the house of Dumont from the Barouge line. We have Siage. Again, this is one of their higher quality experiences here with the oil, uh, oil concentrations, the bottles. The bottles are so beautiful. They're beautiful, nice, beautiful. The caps like snap on. Ain't like it's even hard to get the cap on, but it ain't going nowhere. It ain't going nowhere. All right, really, really good stuff. All right, up next, let's go back to the Nitro series. And I was really pleasantly surprised. <laughs> like super, super surprised of just how much that I enjoy this, that I like this. From the house of Dumont, we have Nitro Pour Own White. White, I know that's clashed with my studio light bad, but there's where we are, all white bottle, gold trimming here. But this one, I don't know what this is inspired by. Just getting that in the air. So good. I get honey. There's like a big time lavender freshness here with this honey sweetness, almost like this nutty texture to this, but honey, lavender, musk, Comes off a little gourmandy, but more sweet and fresh and clean is what I get with this. Um, and this stuff is a really good performer too. I, I didn't think that it was gonna perform that well upon the first spray um, when I, you know, tested this out and 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 you know gave it its experience or get, it, let it give me the experience and me experimenting with it. It performed really, really good. I'm talking in that eight to ten hour range. This is something that I deem fun. This is a fun scent to wear during the cooler months. I absolutely will be, you know, on those cool days when, you know, I'm out and about, maybe me and my wife are going for lunch during the fall, even the winter time, I'm just trying to keep it chill, keep it cozy, you know, keep it laid back. This is something I'm going to put because it smells really, really good. It smells really, really good. And again, for the price that you pay for this, it's almost, you know, kind of wild. So. You can look into this. This one takes a different spin from the Aventus style takes that you get from a lot of the Nitros or even the uh, Invictus take that you get from the Nitros. This is something totally different. I'm not sure what it's inspired by. I, that nothing really came to mind when I was, um, you know, smelled it for the first time and wore it and experienced it. But I do know it smells good, like really, really good. And this is something for sure that a lot of y'all who love sweeter fragrances, y'all are going to like this one, man. So check it out from the house of Dumont. We have Nitro Pour Homme White. Again, this is an all white bottle with some gold trimming. So it's definitely clash with my light, but this is a really good one and in my top five. All right. And last but not least, out of my top five, we're going to go uh, back to the premium line, I believe. I read that. I read it once before. This is a premium line from Dumont. And this stuff is really, really good along the lines of that vintage DNA that I love so, so, so much. <laughs> But this is kind of like a blend of something else, but we'll talk about it. But from the house of Dumont, we have Barouge Spiritus. Barouge Spiritus. Again, you get that Aventus DNA, but this is grown man stuff. Kind of like a Hashivad Creed Aventus, more on the more earthy side of that. Now you get this kind of sparkly citrus up top that doesn't last long. It's all, it's all on the atomizer, so it's like this bergamot, kind of grapefruit type of uh, citrus in the opening. Um, but then you it's followed by, you know, the oak mosses, uh, the woods, uh, the vetiver has some spice to it. 
um it, it, it's it's really well done um and it's 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 another one that's for the masculine everyday man you're not looking for sweetness you're not looking for boozy you're not looking for no you want something that's spicy woody um versatile something you wear every single day has some class to it and some quality and you're not paying that much now i know the spiritist lines get around that 65 to 70 dollar range don't get crazy with the noise just because of the price but you got to understand the quality that you're getting here yes it's taken after creative vintage yes it is but the quality here it when you smell it you're like wow okay i, I can kind of see what's going on performs all day long and it's going after a particular version and a particular vibe when it comes to Aventus, and I appreciate that, all right? So this is really, really good from that premium line, a little bit more expensive. The oil quality is up. The bottles and the presentation and the materials are up. So that's why the price is around. I think retail, retail before discount, even on perfume box, these are like 190, I think. I think like 190, 200. And then knocked all the way down to around that 65 to 75 dollar mark so when you look at it from that point of view not that bad of a deal but this is really really good i've worn it a hand uh not a handful of times about three times to the office so far because you know once a week i'm wearing something creative vintage it's just one of my favorites it just is it just is all right i love it here we are from the house of dumont we have barouge spiritus barouge spiritus that stuff this stuff is really really good man for sure all right, so there are tons and tons of other options from the House of Dumont, and I like other ones um, as well, but these are the five. If they had to take all my Dumonts away, leave me with these five and I'm good to go. Of course, honorable mention, Nitro Red, which is really good, which is really, really good, but it's just outside of my top five, all right? So look to experience and smell more from the House of Dumont at some point in time, um, but what they got going on is really, really good. They deserve to be in a discussion. They deserve to be recommended. And I know a lot of you guys love the Nitro series the most. That's the one that gets talked about a lot here, and I get it. They, they you know, the Nitro Blue, the Nitro Green. I smelled all of those, the Nitro Brown, and then they're all good and have something to offer, like for sure, all right? So let me know down below in the comments, what are your top fragrances from the House of Dumont? What do you love? What do you don't love? What is a hey? What is a no? Like, where are you at with the House of Dumont? Have you had some good experiences? Would you recommend them to people, you know, looking to smell good at an affordable price? All right, so let's talk about it down below in the comments. And as always, I appreciate y'all's support. Appreciate all the love. I do not take it for granted. Positive energy, positive vibes, as always. Splack it up, splack it out. Splack that thing all around. And remember, what you put onto this world, it's exactly, yeah, you, yeah, you. What you put into this world is exactly what you are going to get back. That's facts, man. Appreciate y'all. Peace. And of course, splatter.